So I ordered a new Apple Pencil 2-esque thing yesterday on Amazon and I received it in the mail today. It's called Jam Jake. I got a quick story behind this one and I'm going to tell you guys why I bought this. So originally I owned an Apple Pencil 2, which you see me showing off one here inside of my hands. And uh, I owned it for about a year and a half. And as I had it for about a year and a half, finally the tip or the nub or whatever the hell this thing is called at the very front of it, is, I guess it's just called a, a pencil tip. This thing had worn out, so I had to buy new ones. I went to the Apple store and I bought a package of these for... 2420 yen in uh, USD this is probably something like uh, 20 USD and you get four brand new tips inside of one package at the Apple store or you can order off of apple.com so I went out and bought these replacement tips so that you know I can have some backups and as well as replace the one that was worn and the moment that I bought these things the very next day, I had ended up leaving my Apple Pencil on a train in Tokyo, never to be seen again. So just yesterday, I went out and I bought another Apple Pencil 2 to replace the one that I had lost on the train. But I said, you know, at the price that this thing costs, never again, never again am I going to leave this anywhere this thing is staying inside of my home not to leave. So I said, well, I need something that I can use when I'm outside of the home. So I thought, you know what? I might as well buy something cheap that I can use for that purpose. So I found this one and uh, this is probably roughly about 24 USD. I paid 2,900 Japanese yen for this on the Japanese Amazon. And uh, it seems to have gotten pretty good reviews. So we're getting ready to open it and see what it is, but it looks just like the Apple Pencil 2. And to my surprise, it came in multiple colors, at least the one from this company called Jam Jake. So, because I got a Space Gray iPad Pro, I thought I would go ahead and get a black pencil because, you know, it just looks that much cooler. So, just opened up the package. It has a little sticker there. A black sticker that indicate that this is black inside let's go ahead and pull this out all right all right the presentation is not too far off talking about box wise presentation is not too far off from the real Apple pencil there they look just about the same you got a little instruction manual here uh, this is compatible with quite a few different iPad Pros, starting with the one that I have from 2018. Yeah, don't laugh at me. I know my iPad Pro is old. Here it is right here. I keep it inside of the Magic Keyboard case. And there goes the pencil there. It feels quite good in the hands, actually. <laughs> As my boy Floss likes to say, ladies, you know the procedures, because <laughs> it feels good in the hands. But... There you go right there. You got both of the pencils stacked up with one another. The Jam Jake right next to the Apple Pencil. Almost exactly the same size and length. Same feel. Almost about the same weight. This, The Jam Jake feels just a little bit ever so slightly lighter. But essentially the same weight. Same dimensions. And I think they said this one even has a magnetic capability where I could just go ahead and yep there you go so you could drop that on there it doesn't charge that way unfortunately it charges by USB type C but at least when you're moving around and about you can put your pencil on the top so that you don't lose it but this is how I lost it on the train the first time but at least this one is cheaper there's a little slot here where you could t uh, plug in your USB type C and then there's one little indicator light that'll show up here. I guess that shows that it's charging. Inside of this slot, there's an additional three nibs that you can use for putting on the tip of this when it wears out. So you got the one here plus a three additional nibs. 
and it does not come with a USB Type C cable. But you know, I have. Oh yes, it does. Yes, it does. I'm such a liar. It has this plastic thing here that holds the pencil. If you lift that up, there it goes right inside the bottom there, your USB type C. I'm getting ready to plug in real quick inside of my MacBook Pro and see if this thing actually charges. Well, I, here you got a USB type A. I don't have that on my computer, so I can't. I can't check it with this cable, but I think I have another one here. All right. So, you guys can't see it off camera, but I have it charging right now. When it's charging, the indicator light turns to purple. And when you unplug it, and just when you have it turned on, it's a blue light. And again, when you plug it in and it's charging, this blue light is going to turn purple. Let me just go ahead and open up my iPad Pro and uh, see what I can do with this. All right. All right, so it's not plug and play. I thought it would be. Let's go ahead and uh, open up the Bluetooth settings, see if we can get this thing operational. All right, Apple Pencil 2 connected. It says other devices, accessory. It's just called an accessory inside of the Apple devices. So let's go ahead and click on accessory and see if this see if this connects. Man, I hope it does. Pairing unsuccessful. Pairing took too long. Make sure it is turned on in range and ready to pair. Are you kidding me, man? It's right there. Let's try this again. All right, the little wheel is just spinning around and around in circles. I think I'm going to have to read these instructions to see how to get, yeah, pairing unsuccessful. Let me see if I can get this thing under wraps and I'll come back and tell you what I did to do to uh, pair this damn thing. All right, they said that this thing is just supposed to automatically work. There is a power button on the top here. All you have to do is tap it. You see that there's a light that's off, the blue light. If you just gently just tap the top one time, it's going to light up blue, and that's going to indicate that it's turned on. And it should just automatically work, but it's not. And uh, I'm going through the manual right now in Japanese, and it's telling me what I should do. It says, if I'm already connected to the Apple Pencil, which I am, they said to turn off the Bluetooth, and uh, maybe that's going to fix it. Then again, there's also something else. Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. So you can't be connected to this and this at the same time. So if you want to use this cheap pencil, you got to go ahead and uh, disconnect either the Apple Pencil 2 or you have to turn off your Bluetooth functionality. And then it's going to go ahead and work. All right, it's quite smooth. Let me open up this uh, sketch pad real quick and just... Just draw something really quick. See that this works. All right. Yep. There's no There's no sensitivity to this. I think it's just one level. But uh it works pretty good. It's pretty smooth. It has uh palm rejection. You can draw, you know, at different angles uh uh tilt it a little bit angle and then straight up and down everything works just fine like it a lot let's use the pencil feature let me just uh, sign my name real quick all right so that works beautifully for things like uh, writing and taking notes is what I bought this for when I'm out on the go it works perfect for that but if you're an artist and you need the pressure sensitivity and you're doing things like Photoshop or Another drawing app, then I wouldn't recommend using this pencil. But for everyday use and for the things that I'm using it for, it seems to work perfectly. So it's all good. So I got my pencil for home. I got my pencil on the go. And I got my extra tips both here for inside of this box, which I had to pay for. 
and you got three extra nibs that come with this thing right here so all in all pretty surprised and pretty happy with my jam jake this thing is made in china just you know it might not be called this inside the united states but if you just type in jam jake apple pencil 2 inside of amazon it's going to come up with the same pencil it might have a different name to it it might be inside a different packaging but trust me it's the exact same pencil it should cost anywhere between about 24 usd up to about 29 usd but go ahead and get yourself one of the 24 dollar ones that's all you need anyways i'm done with this review i'm done rambling i'm done i will see you guys in the next one and until next time peace i'm out